Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nef from Nest Tech, but today I want to do a little piece on this super cheap tape player, an Omni. Now, the reason that I wanted to do this is that you can see right under the sticker, it seems to say Sears. Sears house brands were totally cheap, uh, well, electronics. Anything that you got that said Sears was probably going to be cheap. It looks like you got pretty much everything here. Uh, you got, it came with external power, battery operated, um, so it have a microphone on it. Was that auxiliary earpiece recorder volume? Of course, the eject, uh, it's not really quite working. I got it for three bucks, but seriously, the reason why I really wanted to get it was just because the Omni sticker was clearly over top of the Sears logo. I've had this thing sitting around for a while, and I just want to see that full Sears. Like, why? Why would somebody do this? All right, so I got the sticker off, and you can definitely see here. Simpson Sears. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen Simpson Sears. And on the front, once again, Sears. So, of course, like I said before, Sears was the house brand of Sears. And uh, if you wanted to get something super cheap at Sears, you got the house brand. But who would take it down one level further? Seriously. Who would, who would be that guy? Who would want to do something like that? And if we take a look in the battery compartment, we got batteries from about the age, age-appropriate batteries. What can I say? Oh, wow, seriously, I don't see this very often. Those batteries were rusted to crud. But they didn't even touch the pickups. What are these? Okay, there's a little bit on the pickups, but seriously, are these aluminum or something? That's, that's amazing. I can find absolutely no information on this Omni Corporation, but the fact that somebody actually took a little sticker and just put it over the Sears, Simpson Sears, and uh, sold it as their own makes me wonder, what were these things just kicking around? Maybe that's it. They were just kicking around and they needed to find another place to sell it. So they were like, well, if I can't sell it at Sears, maybe we'll slap something on you can sell it elsewhere, right? That's got to be it. Now, you know, this thing came to the wrong neighborhood because you know I got to see inside all the equipment. I'm sure all the butts are, uh, the belts are all rusted to crud. But still, these things will age better than an iPhone. Because an iPhone, once the battery dies, you can't do anything with it. iPhones, Androids, if you plug them in without a battery, they won't turn on. It's easy to get a, uh, a belt. It's easy to open these things up and get a belt. It's not so easy to get a replacement battery for an old phone that's decades old. Come on. I had to fight with some clips here. All right, here we here we go. And the belt actually doesn't look bad. Let me get this off here belt actually looks like it could move sweet unfortunately I don't need a tape player right now but what I do like to do as you know is get into stuff it's interesting we got all these circuit boards that have they're running a wire you don't see this so much anymore Lewis Rossman's great at running wire if the printed circuit board is not working but I wonder if it's almost considered unprofessional to run wires like that these days wow it's a big capacitor Man, I love these old circuit boards. What can I say? Especially with all this mechanical stuff going on. I love this mechanical stuff. You just never see this stuff anymore. I guess I have to go back and find stop. There we go. You just don't see this stuff anymore. Anyways, that's it for me. Never from Nestec, but like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciated. And uh, have a good one, folks.